Today we're going to see if that AI can make the kids love our gaming content. Hooray! The most important step in any gaming video is to cut up the gameplay footage because it's going to create the pacing, it's going to create the super cool niceness that makes all the gaming videos good. So what you're going to want to do is go on Google, look up Gling, and you're just going to download it. Trust me, it's probably not a virus and you're going to download it, you're going to set it up, you're going to do all of that. Basically, all you have to do is drag in your gameplay into this little box and it's going to cut out all the dead space, all the bad takes and all of that stuff. And it's going to save you so much time. I mean, the only problem is the cuts are going to be a little robotic because it is created by an AI. Let's be honest, it's not going to be perfect, but you could just go through whatever it edited and you can fix it yourself. And you're going to save so much time because it's just going to cut out all the boring stuff. And also, Gling gives a little transcription on the side. I know you probably don't need it, but it's there if you want it. And you can export it, do whatever you want with it. And honestly, I gave Gling a solid 18 out of 34 because it is a pretty good software, but it could be better, but it'll save you a lot of time, let's be honest. Number two. So number two has two AIs. And basically the first one is a paid option but there's a kind of loophole around it. So basically it's a B-roll generator. So you just put in keywords and it'll generate something. The first one is a paid one, but don't worry. It has a loophole to get around the paywall. And what you're going to need to do is look up Runway AI on your internet browser. You don't have to download anything, which is a good thing because I hate downloading stuff. So you're going to create an account and then you're going to see this homepage and then there's going to be this like bunch of options and stuff. And then you're going to see text slash video or something like that. And you're going to click on it then you're gonna skip all of that nonsense tutorial because you probably have more than five iq so you should be able to do it just click on this thing and then type what you want so i'm pretty sure in my kerbal space program video i say hopefully this rocket won't explode i'm just gonna type rocket exploding and it's gonna generate something most of the time it's gonna look pretty trash but sometimes you're gonna get a work of art the paywall is this credit system and takes like 20 credits and you have like 200 credits as a free person but the loophole is just create another account and it's like simple loophole and the free option which i think is a lot better than the paid one is this discord server called pixie something like that it's in the description so it doesn't matter once you join it there's going to be a generation channel you basically just type the basic discord command like slash generate slash create and then you type in the prompt you want like whatever you want and it's going to create something in a few seconds a few minutes and there sometimes will be a queue if there's a lot of people asking it for something but it's never longer than like five minutes these ais i honestly would only use them if I need to get a complicated b-roll because it is probably better to just find your own b-roll on YouTube or something like that and I honestly rate these AIs maybe like a solid 6 out of 10 because they could be a little better they could be faster they could generate longer than three second clips but it's completely AI and it's completely prompts and you can basically create anything Number three. So this is a built-in AI with Premiere Pro. If you don't have Premiere Pro, you could pirate it, but I don't condone any of that. Or you could use my affiliate link and I can make some money. Anyways, once you're in Premiere Pro, you're gonna see this window thing at the top. You're gonna click on it and then you're gonna go to find this text thing. You're gonna click on that and then it's gonna place a text editor somewhere on your screen. And then you're gonna click the transcribe thing and then it's gonna generate a transcription thing and it's gonna take like a few minutes and once it's all generated you're gonna go to captions and then captions is gonna say generate captions from transcription basically all you have to do is click on it and then do not generate it yet because if you do it's gonna look really bad it's gonna look like movie subtitles and we want to create subtitles that are going to fry the young generation's mind. The blue arrow pointing at the words I'm not going to read, so just click on it. And then you're going to see these three draggable things. Just click on them, drag them all the way to the left. This is basically going to make them as fast paced as possible. And then do single line, because if you have double line, it's just going to stack the words on top of each other. And we don't want that, because it's going to look trash. And then now you can generate it. Basically what it's going to do is generate these yellow boxes on top of your timeline, and you won't be able to edit them. They're going to have some random font or whatever you want. If you want to turn them into graphics, which graphics graphics are basically normal text stuff that you create. You're going to highlight all of them. Then you're going to go to captions slash graphics. I think that's what it's called. You're going to click on it and then you're going to see upgrade captions to graphics. Click on that and boom, they're going to turn into graphics and you can edit them. That's it. So the fourth AI is 
a AI that generates music. And this one's actually really scary because it is super highly realistic. It sounds like genuine music. Somebody put their time and effort in and it makes it in seconds. So look up sound raw on Google and it's just a website. You put in filters like hip hop chill and then boom, it's gonna give you a bunch of hip hop, hip hop chill songs. The only problem is it is behind a paywall and you're gonna have to pay to download them, but you could just screen record. If you're scared of these AIs taking your job, don't be scared because you still need to put all of it together and they're not even that good yet. But we'll see how long that lasts because they've only really been in the spotlight for like a year now. So wait until like 10 years in the future. So uh, like and subscribe chat. Bye.